What's up? Time for comic book haul. Um, this one does is going to be a little bit longer. I got a lot to show, so I'm going to try to go pretty quick and keep it timely so you just see the books. Um, it's pretty simple as far as cost. Um, there was like a blowout sale at, at the LCS where um, uh, I fill up a long box. It's 100 bucks. So all these were $100. And um, just uh, just. I got a lot to show and uh, I don't want to make, make this video too long. So let's just get to it and we'll start showing what I picked up in my long box for $100. Um, we'll start with this one, Star Wars Forces of Destiny, Ashoka and Padme. Um, this is one of the ones I had, um, you know, I bought for cover. And then when Star Wars was going crazy, I sold it for like 30 bucks. Um, now it's, it's not as crazy. A lot of these... Um, you know, but I'm happy to have it. And um, it's one of the ones I was sad I got rid of. Um, here's just a Spawn 338, nothing fancy, but you know, put it in your box, you can fill it up, not too bad. A lot of these books have some uh, issues as far as condition, um, but you know, for, for, for the price, you make it work. Um, King Size Annual Hulk, number eight. I don't have that one, thought it was cool. I love me some movie covers. Uh, X-Men the Movie, Special Edition, Toys R Us, got to get it. Um, Batman 683, a variant. The, these are probably going to go in the collection, um, the ones I'm showing now. Uh, the Last Ronin, Lost Day Special, Retail and Send a variant. Okay, cool. Um, Real Heroes is still sealed. That's one of those Pizza Hut ones. I like stuff like that. A Spider-Man 3 movie prequel target connection. Okay, I like that. Invader Zim number one. Um, more than light. See, it's got it's got a little ding there. So maybe that's why they put it in there. You know, anything that wasn't high grade. But for that one, I was like, ah, whatever. It's number one. I don't have it. X-Force number 121. Just a couple first appearances of characters no one cares about. Death of Venom Burst, nice uh, Venom Burst, uh, uh, Venom Burst, uh, uh, Jeff the Land Shark, you know, so where he's that way. Um, this is an older book. The glasses are not included, but it's kind of cool. Superman in, in startling 3D life action. I think it's an older book. I, I can't remember. I think it's from the 60s, but I just thought it was cool, so I got it. Jeff the Land Shark, number one. Okay, cool. Um, Spider Man 2099, Dark Genesis. The connecting variant, I believe this is the first appearance of Blade 2099. I could be wrong on that. Red Sonia number nine, Jenny Friesen cover. Red Sonia number seven, Jenny Friesen cover. Luna Snow number one. Okay, cool. I'll get that. So th these were probably the ones that I kind of picked out that I'm like, okay, these are going to the collection. Got a couple more. Most of the box was obviously... Uh, stock and filler, but but you know you got some good stuff. Mad Max Fury Road, first ap comic appearance of Furiosa. Um, I found some more Mad Max stuff. Just thought that was cool, so I threw those in for the collection. Uh, Gunslinger Spawn number one. Okay, cool. Might as well do that. Witchblade Midtown Comics variant, one number one twenty four. Okay, this one here. I'm just gonna show it. This one here it's definitely has got. Tons of spine dings, <laughs> so it's not as exciting as you think it is. I've been looking at someday in my mind. I'm like, I'm gonna find an adventure of Sly Cooper one of these days. And out of all my years of searching, anything in the back issues is the first time I've ever found one. So to me, it's super exciting. One I don't own a Sly. It's number two, but uh, the Sly Cooper. But it's I've never found it before. Happy to finally find it. Um, my countdown 44 first appearance of Monarch. Found a Jinx. This has kind of got an option. Kind of got hot. Uh, Brian Michael Bendis stuff. Uh, just Gen Lock number one. Nothing fancy there. Just a Fathom. I don't know. Michael Turner. I thought it was kind of cool cover. Uh, Boba Fett when the fat lady swings. This is probably one of my better finds. One Punch Man number one. Actually, that one's in pretty good condition. This one, I swear I've almost bought for about $15 about eight times. And I kept saying... One of these days, I'm going to find a Batwing 20 in the back, back issues. I'm going to hold off. So I finally found it. This is probably one of the ones I'm happy to find just because I've been looking for it ever since Batwing became a thing. Um, I, I was able to get 19 pretty often, but 20 I was never able to find or, or find in back issues. Super happy. Finally found it. Did, waited. Didn't spend $15 for it like I almost did about eight times. 
Um, more Valiant Gold. I like some Valiant Gold. Unity number one. Uh, this is kind of cool. A Birds of Prey 72. It's sealed and it's got like a Sky Captain of Tomorrow CD in on the back. So, you know, that's kind of cool. And uh, this one, Batman and Captain America. I just didn't have it. I like the Marvel DC team ups. Um, this, it kind of has a little crease on the back, but in the front it presents well. I don't have it. Okay, I'll add it to the collection. It didn't cost a lot. Make it happen. I got to go through these pretty quick. I got a bunch. You know, we're trying to go through a long box. Some of them I haven't even bagged or boarded. Now, those are probably my, my favorite ones that I need for the collection. This is just a bunch of stuff that I thought's cool. Um, Silver, uh, What If 70, uh, What If Silver Surfer had not betrayed Galactus. I see this one in dollar bins. I pick it up. I think I might have like 30 of them. <laughs> uh, first appearance of Valerie uh, Richards, uh, the daughter of Sue Storm and Reed Richards. Uh, Star Wars 42, just a Rebels variant. Batman 10 from New 52. It's the 1 in 25 variant. Um, Invincible Iron Man 528. Uh, the Cure for Subin B Cure, whatever. I wanted, I was happy to find this one. But the condition is 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 definitely low. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it for the collection or do what with it. But you're filling the box, just throw it in there, see what's going on. Uh, Crimson Empire, uh, a Toy Biz uh, variant. I've been wanting this one for a while, but uh, still, I want to find a higher grade. It's hard with with the uh, with the black cover. Okay, cool. Catwoman number one from like 1988. Eight Ball number three. I don't think three. And number one is really the one that's only worth anything. But whatever. Spider-Woman, number 50, last issue of the run. X-Force uh, Cable, Messiah War, second printing, kind of a cool cover. I wish this was in better condition, but that's probably why it was in that, in, the, in that box, but whatever. We've got Pickle Rick on the cover, Rick and Morty, I think it's number 37, yeah. And then I found um, a halfway decent one, uh, Rick and Morty, number five, a variant. And I don't know, uh, these, I don't know, do I want these or not? Because of the condition, I don't know, Superman, like a Radio Shack one. Um, another, this is like Crisis at Cape Canaveral. Uh, this was a, a kid's meal, I guess you got at Wendy's. And this is Ambassadors number one. So that one, Ambassador number one is in nice condition. So those are the ones, uh, I don't know, that I kind of like, I needed for the collection. Now we're to, we'll make it quick. Got to keep these things going. I got a lot of books to show. Um, in Incredible Hulk 181 facsimile. Um, the foil, and we got Spider-Man 300 facsimile as well. Um, so I'll put this over here. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, here is, I don't know, they're they're lower grades, but, uh, you know, it's still kind of cool to have a set. Uh, Death of Wolverine, the variant, number one, number two, number three, and number four. Um, they were in there because of uh, uh, grades, but whatever. It's kind of cool. Um, found Civil War, number ones, uh, number two, I'm missing three now to complete another set. I got four, five, six, and seven. So that's kind of cool to, to work on and do. Um, Justice League, number 12, first cover appearance of Maxwell Lord. Secret Wars, number two, first appearance of, uh, of God Emperor Doom. Uh, Forgive Me Father, number one. Uh, you know, no one cares about that one. My Little Pony, Friendship is Mag Magic Ghost variant. Deadpool Cable, number one variant. Uh, split Second. Fantastic Four, 358. First appearance of uh, um, uh, a Herald of Galactus. Some more Mad Max. Some extra Mad Max stuff, so that's kind of cool. Now we got a little Wolverine run. Four, five, seven. 145, the 25th anniversary, Mr. Terrific, number one, second appearance of Deadpool. So, you know, I, it, it's just fun finding stuff in the box and just making it happen. Um, first appearance of Quasar, and that's a lower grade. First appearance of Grail. Um, I don't know. I think this, this story, I like that story, Memtic, uh, number, number one. I think there's a number two. Yeah, I also got number two. I don't know. I think there's only it's only a three issue set. So maybe if I can find number three, I can finish it again. Um, also, when you're filling a box, you try to maybe just find stuff with like runs. 29, this is from the new Wolverine series. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. So that's kind of a cool run there. And I do, I was trying to put together this, uh, 
the set. It's a nine issue set, but I was able to get one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm missing three of the what fail Phelan X Covenant, you know, X Force, got the X-Men, the X-Men, and the Wolverine. So I don't know, I thought that was pretty cool. So that's what's going on there. Um we'll, we'll start here. We'll we'll continue going on this side here. Um a super low grade, but first appearance of the multiple man. Okay, why not? Throw it in the box. Uh, you know, I'm probably mid-grade, Daredevil 270, you got two of them, first appearance of Blackheart, Secret Wars 3, first appearance of Beyonder and Human Form. These were just some random spawns that you just see, and you're like, oh, I'll throw in any spawn that's there, why not, I'll make it happen. Uh, I wish this one was in better grade, but it's got spindings. Uh, first appearance of Bloodshot, first appearance of Nebula. Highlander Zero, first appearance of Highlander in comics. You got the photo cover and, and uh -huh, that cover. So that was kind of cool. Um, let's see what else we got. Got to keep it going. I got to show Deadpool the Duck number one. I was so happy to find this one. I wanted this one forever. Uh, but uh, Star Mace Windu, Star Wars Jedi. But it's got major, major, major condition issues. So it's not even worth it for the collection. But when you fill in that box, that's why it was in there. So I just was like, okay, I'll get it. Um, I always get this one whenever I see it. First appearance, I think, of the guy who, Jack Boniface. I think he becomes Shadow Man. Um, we have Earth 2, a first appearance of uh, uh, Zazad, who be, I think it's Zazad, Valzad, who we can, no, I don't know, one of the black supermen. I, I do like the second printing, so I was like, hey, why not get it? I already have it. Grendel, number one, first appearance of the female Grendel. Uh, Star Wars Force Awakens, number one. Uh, Infinity Gauntlet, number four. Actually, I needed this one to complete a run of low grade, so now obviously it's low grade, but... I saw number one. I couldn't leave it there either. So I got that one. This has grading issues as well. It looks good. I'm playing here, but up close, it's not as exciting as I, I thought it was. First appearance, Typhoid Mary. Got to keep it going, guys. Keep it going. Keep it going. Got a nice little Harbinger run here. Actually, these are nice grades. Harbinger one, two, three, and four with the coupons. That was That's a good find for sure. Um, DC Bombshells 32, I believe this is the first time, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy Kiss. So I think it is. I've been trying to confirm that. I'm pretty sure it is, but they definitely kiss in this book, so it's cool. I Zombie number one, I remember when that was a thing, kind of missed that. Some low-grade Batman, uh, what number is this? Two, 323 and 324. I just couldn't leave them, even though low-grade. Nice condition of Spawn Batman number one, I always like that one. Found Ultimate Invasion number one. Actually, that's a pretty good condition. Found a Scotty Young cover. Okay, why not? Another Scotty Young cover. I'll just throw Scotty Young covers in. I don't know. Sometimes I like putting sets together. Um, I don't know. This was just a fancy foil Batman. It's a, from the current series, so I got it. We got the um, Rogue One number one, the action figure variant. So, okay, cool. Long shot number one. Low grade, but it's still cool. Uh, low grade Uncanny X Men uh, 244 newsstand. That was definitely a good one. Threw this one in just because it's a retail incentive. Actually, it looks halfway decent. Thor, oh, man, I wish it was like four years ago. That it's a hundred dollar book four years ago. Um, uh, Thor number one third print. Uh, Doom Control. I think that's the first full appearance of Flex Metallo, and this is his first cameo appearance. Something like that. Superman, Man of Steel 18, second print. Uh, this is low grade. I wish it was higher grade, but um, Marvel Team Up 141. Um, Spider-Man Daredevils, one of his first appearances in the black suit. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's keep it going here. Sorry, I'm just trying to show you a bunch. You know, just keep it going. Wolverine number 10, uh, uh, Sabretooth Wolverine Battle. Thor 390, when Captain America hand, ha handles uh, the, the hammer. Ra number four, just a short print, hard to find one. Uh, low grade, Amazing Spider-Man, Wedding Special. Okay, cool. Uh, that's, uh, this one actually is a pretty good grade. All-Star Squadron number 47, a Todd McFarlane cover. Wolverine number one from 1988 from the ongoing series. Low grade, major issues, but it's still cool. 
Whenever I see the Harbinger Zero in pink, uh, these were like a mail-in uh, one. They had two of them. They actually had a whole bunch of Harbinger Zeros, and uh, uh, the regular cover is blue. And I'm like look, going through. I'm like, okay, where's the pink one? Where's the pink one? Yes. I was like, crap, they only have two, but two's better than none. Uh, Scarlet, number one. Uh, Avengers Academy number 20 and 21. This is, these are the first appearance of White Tiger. I think that's like her, her cover and that's the first appearance or, or something. But both those go for a little bit and they're in halfway decent condition. Avengers Academy number one, why not? Uh, first appearance of the Black Guard or, you know, Thanos' henchman. A new Avengers number eight and I, I also got number nine. So that was pretty cool. And here's a Dynamic Forces variant, uh, just a sketch cover of Spike from Buffy. So, you know, there wasn't much, but, you know, I, I kind of, I'm kind of showing the highlights right now of what I got. Super happy. I've been looking, I, I can't believe I found this one in the wild. I've been looking, I was looking for this one for years and I finally gave up. I think I spent like 30 to $40 um, on number one. This is the first appearance of Soul Fire. I've been looking for it. I gave up looking for it. Now I found another one. Perfectly happy. Um, I found a she dragon. It's funny because I, in my last video, I found one for cover price and I found one in this box. So that was pretty cool. Um, Uncanny X Men number 307. This is the Pressman Gold variant. I did find a Wolverine 36, but that one. Does not, it's not part of the run because it's it's the first appearance of Helverine. It's it's a key. Um, and somehow Ghost Rider 17 has the variant of this cover. Has It's like maybe a cameo appearance of Helverine or something. I don't really get it. I don't understand, but whatever. Um, Batman 368. I think it's uh, a, a Robin Key uh, Battlestar Galactica photo cover. Got to get it. Swordmaster number nine. Um, I, I don't remember why, but this number nine and number two had some sort of keys to it, so I got it. And Invincible Returns, number one, why not? Um, so that's pretty much the halfway decent ones. Um, we'll just start, we'll keep it going here. I probably got about another five. I can probably do it another five or 10 minutes, but I'll just show them quickly. Uh, Injustice, these aren't bagged and board anymore. I didn't bag and board these. Injustice number three, it's first, it's like a off, um, you know, uh, a different world and Batman has a daughter and it's her first appearance. Just a random low grade Batman 322. A next first appearance of Hope Van Dyme. Batman 703, a variant. Which Blade 10, first appearance of Darkness. Another first appearance of the Black Guard. The previews for Dark Avengers. Dark Avengers number one. Um, these have some spine issues, but Batman 13, the third print and the second print. Batman 28, first appearance of Bluebird. I don't know, Fallen Friend, Death of Miss Marvel, kind of cool. Um, X-Force 21. Well, I, I don't understand why this one doesn't get the love, but West Coast Avengers 94 does. I think this predates West Coast Avengers 94, but there's Jim Rose right there. But it's one of those weird ones. I don't know, just a cool cover that I, I liked. Um, Carnage, number two. Cloak and Dagger, just a cover I like. I see it. It was cheap enough. Uh, New Mutants, number four. New Stand. Uh, it's a Josh Middleton cover. In Invincibles, number one. Some halfway decent condition. Secret Wars, number five. And some number threes. Halfway decent condition. Some New Mutants, 14. 26. And 16. Since we're still talking New Mutants before I get all mixed up, I found... Three halfway decent condition uh, New Mutants 100. Got those. I know a lot of these I still haven't bag and boarded. Uh, Dark X Men Adam Hughes cover number one. We got the Grant Morrison preview to New X Men. Uh, halfway decent Uncanny X Men Teen Titans number one. A lower grade Young Avengers number two. Some Magnus Robot Fighters number five. Um, Tales of the Jedi, Sith War number one. What if Phoenix hadn't died? Star Wars Forces of Destiny, Ray. First appearance of Rescue number one, the variant, or uh, Invincible Iron Man number 10, variant cover. First appearance of Rescue. I don't know, just cool Darth Vader cover. First appearance of the hologram, um, uh, Iron Man. I don't know, I thought that was cool. Threw that in. I don't know, just a couple, you know, mid-grade 
Veronica and Betty stuff. I don't know. The covers kind of caught my eye. I just kind of picked those. And they look halfway decent condition and, and that sort of thing. First appearance of Magnema. Uh, Marvel Team of 100, classic uh, cover, Invincible Iron Man 150, second appearance of Beta Ray Bill 338. Keeping it going, we're making good time, guys. We're making good time. Uh, Bitch Planet number one, first appearance of Baz in the Free Comic Book Day, first appearance of Kid Loki, Thor 617, Old Man Logan appearance, giant size. Uh, first appearance of Lady Sabretooth. Okay, cool. Just a cool variant cover I kind of liked. It does have a little ding there. You can kind of see. Just a cool cover. Miss Marvel 50 I really liked. Can't go wrong with Blood Strike. I don't know. That's kind of a thing. Justice League New 52, number one. Third print. Obi-Wan and Anakin, number one. The variant. First appearance of Kid Venom and Death of Venomverse, number two. X-Force 125. First appearance of Dead Girl. Daredevil 189, classic Frank Miller, Green Lantern number one. I just like this cover because just cruises on the cover. First appearance of Vigilante, Teen Titans annual number two. First appearance of that chick, I forget her name. And this is just a variant cover I, th I thought was cool. A Silver Surfer, Rebirth Legacy number one. Okay, so now we're to the point where, okay, I found a bunch of stuff. What am I else? I still have room in my box. Let me just grab Spider-Man and X-Men books and see what happens. So that's kind of what I did here. So, you know, I was just, I'll just show them. I just was like looking for, for anything like Spider-Man books that were, I could just fill the box with that are just kind of cool. Um, you know, I don't need to, they're in no order really. Um, you know, just you're filling boxes, you find cool stuff, you get it. So I got to kind of hold it here. And I was just trying to fill this box. And I just found a bunch of Spider-Man stuff. So that's kind of, oh, well, that needs to go over here. It's not Spider-Man stuff. I just kind of like threw it in. They're lower grades, but they're really cool. Everyone loves a good Spider-Man. So you can kind of see random Spider-Man. I just kind of threw in to make it happen there. So that's that. Um, oh, look, Savage Dragon 225. I don't know if that's a thing, but whatever. I saw it, so I got it. And apparently I got uh, a foil variant of Amazing Spider-Man 300 as well. So that's that's always cool to get as well. Um, let's, let's just start showing the random X-Men I got. Low, most of these are low grade. That's probably why they put them in there. You know, when you're when you're shopping, you got over inventory. But some of them, I think, are are somewhat salvageable. But even low grade, some of these X Men are are pretty cool. So I'm just kind of just showing you. We can keep an eye on it and see it instead of talk about it all the time and you know that sort of thing. But if they're halfway decent Wolverine covers, I love. I get. Um, you know little run here maybe with some x-men in it yeah you get <sighs> right. so you know, 292 it was like in the 90s when it was all overprinted um here, i'll keep it going here's some 90 yeah 95 i got up sorry my hand, my arm's gonna be in it in here to hold help hold these up just because I want to show them, you know, that's low grade, but that's obviously a good key. But they're still really cool to, to own and have and, you know, some classic, even Dark Phoenix stuff. You can't go wrong. Low grade. I mean, there, there's definitely value here, even in a low grade, just because of the, the classicness of it all. And I'm clearing out another one here. So it was definitely worthwhile to throw all those in the box without a doubt. So that was super awesome. Um, and it's, you know, I'm kind of, maybe I'll start working on the X-Men run of the 400s. <laughs> so these, this is kind of like just random 400 X-Men. I know that, you know, I can, I, I'm sure I don't have, maybe I'll start saving them for the collection. I don't know, but I, uh, I wish they had more of the ones in the 400s cause then I can really get a good run going, but whatever, that's what I got there. And then I was like, okay, we're almost done. I went through these pretty quickly, so that's good. Then I'm like, hmm, I still have room in my box. 
what am I going to do? And uh, actually, here's some more. Here's some more stuff. Sorry, the kind of that's low grade Shazam number one. You got Cap Wolf. You got a Black Widow number one, second print. You got a Millennium Edition Superman number one. We've got the nice Dazzler with the X Men. We got a cool Avengers Scarlet Witch cover. Some Star Wars, cool cover. Wonder Woman cover B's and Captain America. So I think those I needed to show. So I'm glad I got to show those real quick. And now I'm like, okay, now we have room. We have a little bit left in the box, what am I going to get? And I'm just kind of filling things out. I'm not really gonna show it, we're pretty much done. But I just got a bunch of Witchblade. I just love, you know, you just throw it in the box. You know, the, the Michael Turner runs and Witchblade back in the day, I really, really liked. Um, truthfully, I own one through 100. And they just had a bunch of Witchblades. Obviously, it's not popular. They're like, okay, we'll just put them in the thing here. So I got a, a bunch of Witchblades. Oh, and I, was, I got a, a couple Fathom Michael Turner covers. And that's what I did. So anyways, that was my long box for 100 bucks. It was a lot of fun searching for and, and doing. And I'm happy to share. Thank you for watching. Um, it was a longer video, but it was, it was definitely fun to, to hunt. Thanks, guys.